What's going on, YouTube? You're chilling with Bulky Abortion, and we're back for another part of Let's Play Brave the Default Blind. We just kicked Ares' ass. I must return to the Dark Aurora. Lord Aurorus will grant me a new form. Grant me power. Why do I have a feeling it didn't matter if I won or lost here? Curse you. Shut up, Ari. We beat you before, we beat you we beat you once, we beat you again. How badly are you hurt? <clears throat> I'll survive. Good to hear. Wasn't really hurt at all. Though I'm not so sure I will if I don't find something to do. Ah, that. That part comes over here. Yes, that's it. Don't worry about me. You should go talk to the ladies. <laughs> you should talk to the ladies. <laughs> that's the first part we're going to do on this. This is now the only one in the party. Well, am I at least healed? I have a party chat. Grandship. Err. Uh. Uh, hold on, I need to get, I need to go, like, super deep for dads. Er, can I have a ring with, can I have a word with you, ring bell? What's with the serious look? Oh, no, it's just, well... Ah, uh, you're worried Grandchip is on her last leg, aren't you? So you've noticed, too. Sure, I've known. We've entered the Holy Pillar five times now. Passing through that intense light and extreme turbulence and weather, weathering Ares' monstrous attacks? That would leave more than a few scratches on any ship. Yes, but more than a few scratches don't even begin to describe the damage. I know it's far more than some damage or worn out parts. The hull itself is not long for this world. If we suffer that kind of turbulence again, the ship is sure to... I know, but let's just keep this between you and me for now. Understood. <sighs> well then, are we just not going to be able to go home? Okay, I'm fully healed. Well then, alright. Should I just talk to... Are you actually going to keep it to yourself? Alright. Well, let's just go find the ladies, like uh, Ringbell suggested. Huh. I wonder if I can... Are the... Is the weapon shop open? Hey, you are! Heavy axe. The hell? This looks powerful. 52. I think that's stronger than any axe I have. Hold on, let me check this. Uh... I actually should have... That should be the strongest axe I have. That was 58, right? Oh, not quite as strong as the giant's axe, though. And not quite as useful as the foxtails. Any new spells? I would gladly spend money on new spells. Nope, I thought not, but still, I had to try. Alright, let's just check down here. They're probably at the inn eating. I don't know. Uh, who's over here? Oh, Adia. Hey, Adia. What's up? It's just as Father and Master Kami Izumi said. We already knew this. I was blind. Completely ignorant. I saw everything in black or white. How could I let this happen? How could I have been such an idiot? We didn't. We chose to stay and fight the final boss. You aren't. There was no way you could have known, Idea. Ari is going to pay for this betrayal. Along with her master, Ouroboros, too. That much I know. But still, I... I'll never be able to forgive myself. Aww. Have you seen Anya's? Comfort the girl, tis. Jeez, you see a girl almost crying in front of you, and you just... All you're thinking about is Anya, so, you know, give her some comfort. Yeah, okay, Anya's is eating. Could she... Could it be she's a stress eater? This'll be interesting. Yes, no. Am I really gonna change the names? No. I'm not changing names. That's interesting, though, that I can... That I can. Uh, she's supposed to be somewhere around here, right? Is she on the upper deck? I think there was some... Yeah, there is an upper part. Oh, there she is. What's up? You doing okay? Holding up well? Oh, there you are. The repairs are almost done. It's time we talk strategy. This is all my fault. My trust in Aerie has devastated the fate of innumerable souls. And that includes you, Ringabout. And Adia, too. All because I was a fool. That's not 
true. You're not responsible for anyone's fate but your own. <laughs> You're all blaming yourselves. Well, fine. Be sad. Feel guilty. Regret what none of us could have helped. But the minute the repairs are done, all that ends. Airy deceived us. Airy. And a lot of people have suffered as a result. But that's why we can't sit here wallowing in sorrow. She must be stopped. And we're the ones to do it. The time to put an end to this is now. Come to the bridge when you're ready. We'll await you there. Oh, am, am I am I going to be on yes now, or is it my still going to be Tiz? Oh, all right. Well, I don't see what else I possibly can do. So I guess I'll just go to the bridge. I mean, if there was something else I could do, that'd be great. But it doesn't seem like there is. Onto the bridge. I'm sorry to have kept you all. We understand. So, what are we to do now? We go see the sage. I don't see any other options. He foresaw that this would happen. What do you think, Agnes? Yes, I agree. Please, set a course immediately. Alright, let's do this. Party grouped. Good. Party chat. Alternus's memory. Oh, I see. Phoenix Flight and Minus Strike. Huh? Oh no, I was just thinking back to when I was still in the Dark Knight Alternus Dim. Barris said something to me back then. He said... Molly Fe Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try and do, like, an, a ring bell inter impersonating Barris. My Phoenix Flight and your Mind Strike are the ultimate combination. You would sacrifice HP for major damage with Phoenix Flight, and then you do as much damage as your HP loss with Minus Strike. Hmm, that could be interesting. You could even have multiple pairings like that in a party. It's worth a try. And if there were a way to add some major healing after Minus Strike... That would be icing on the cake. Let us try and find something of that sort. We were both really excited about it back then, even though neither of us had mastered the moves yet. Holly was there with us too. I think it was her suggestion to use the free freelancer's stand ground until she could follow up with healing. Ring bell. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, I'm actually doing that combination right now. But for now, ring a bell, for God's sake. Hyper braces? You don't need this! You really, really don't. Where are those Hermes shoes? Hermes shoes, Hermes shoes, Hermes shoes. Good look. Where are they? Oh, other people have them. Um. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Hold on. I actually remember some stuff about this, because there were some th things I needed to switch around. Like, someone suggested that Idea dies way too quickly, so I'm, I'm going to take off prolonged support. I mean, I like it, but I guess it just means I'll have to set up more. Because she really can't survive... She really can't take the hits and survive hits, so I'm going to give her armor lore. Just so she can uh, survive a few more hits. So let's optimize Crystal Mail. That should be better than what she had before. Yeah. It gives her a bit more defense, so maybe she has a bit more survivability. And her, as far as Hermes shoes go, where's that um, strength thing that Ringabell had? I'm pretty sure it was over here somewhere. Greatly raises strength. I think it might be these. Yeah, it's this. Hyper Bracers. Anya's is fine to have those, but you need... Oh, I had two Hyper Bracers. Cool. But I need the... Uh, <laughs> I need those shoes. And those shoes. Thank you. Now, there was someone else who needed, like, a plus one at the beginning of the battle. I think it might have been... It might have been Adia, but she's not getting that plus one anymore. Brave Suit. Yeah, I need that. Do you need Brave Suit? Not really, and Ring of Bell, you don't really need it either. Yeah, you don't really need it either. I really want to give Idea another um, ability, but the Multitask and Precision are just too good. They really are. I mean, if I could, if I could, if if she had enough defense on her own, I would take off Armor Lore, and I would totally put on, um, where is it? it it's the, it's the, uh, here it is, BP limit up, just so I can get off way more attacks that way, but uh, she really needs that defense. 
Okay, there's no blue lights, or no blue whatever, so I guess we just go talk to the sage. Because this entire time I've also been looking for that side quest dungeon. But for now, just I guess the sage will have to do. Maybe it'll pop up after I talk to the sage. It'll probably be like, you idiots! Or something like that. Probably not, though, because the sage is pretty cool. Here we go. Hmm. Is the time finally come? There is much I would speak of. All right. Why did it fade at out last, like that? At long last. Sage, we must rely on your wisdom. You are all we have. Though I fear I am far from all-knowing myself, child. Auroboros, the celestial realm. It's the first I've heard of most of this. Oh, good lord. No. What are we to do if even you don't know? How do we stop this? Patience, child. He will be with us presently. I'm assuming DeRoso? And here he is. Yep. All right, DeRoso. What's the skivvy? All here, I see. No need for pleasantries. I'm more or less aware of the situation. Then let's begin. Begin what? Onyas, take the pendant you received from the sage and raise it aloft. All right. Like this? That will do. Now, for the rest. Line up behind on yes and join hands, all of you. Uh, right. This is interesting. May I ask why? As party to these events, you have the right to know. And the desire as well, I expect. The revelation as spoken by the angel. Shall we? Indeed. Hmm. Oh. What's happening? Shh. Remain silent. Oh, warriors of light. Hearken unto these words, should they reach you yet. The mark upon the evil one heralds the beginning. The bringer of ruin has risen. His name is Arabarus. Arabarus, bringer of ruin, shall devour all worlds linked by his harbinger. You and your world, and the whole of life on myriad other worlds now face extinction. Hear me, warriors. Arabarus must not be loosed upon creation. You must use every ounce of your being to see this scourge contained. Wise guardians of the warriors of light, the time has come. Which of you will do as I have instructed? That particular role falls to me. It calls me, but you're the only one for it. So confused. You watch over them, Sage. Warriors of light, know that you do not walk alone. There are those who protect you. Those who await your return. Those who have entrusted you with the future. Those who brave the same battle you do. And you walk with one another. Should despair take hold, and your spirits falter, raise me aloft once more. Now go. Onward, warriors of light. My friends across the bounds of time and place. Not time and space, time and place? Eh, whatever. Too nitpicky on the words. Or what was that? The angel. The one who suddenly appeared and halted our fight 1800 years past. And if I'm correct... The Agnes of the world I hail from. What? I failed to protect her. She may be, or perhaps not. Harry has interlinked tens of thousands of worlds. Myself from a different world? 
But why? How could she have... Perhaps her prayers for salvation reached the celestial realm. Or perhaps she sought only to warn her counterparts in other worlds. Interesting. There is no way of knowing now. May I ask, Lord DeRoso, what is it you must do? That burden is mine alone. You will know before long, if all goes to plan. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've preparations to make. Man, I really want to know. Speaking of, I shall break the final seal upon the Kustra Archipelago if it be of any use to you. Oh, I bet that's the bonus dungeon. I locked away the direst of the arms I took from the orthodoxy in the cavern's deepest depths. You might seek them out, should you think it necessary, before you face a robberus. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. Although I'm probably going to need Tiz's ability to, uh, you know, find the treasures. Now, where is the thing? There's no blue mark on it, so where could it be? Maybe I have to talk to him directly. Hey, where is it, man? You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh, great, I have to find it. <sighs> Alright. I guess I'll be back once I found it, so just give me a second. I mean, I've got to search in the immediate area, but still, just give me a second, I'll be right back. I think I found it. Dimension Hasp. I don't think this is it. Uh, hold on, let me check the, let me check D's journal. Huh. It only gets worse from here on in. Wait, that means there's a boss battle. I mean, I'll save just to see what's going on, but, uh, what the heck is going on? This place is a labyrinth wrought with illusion by the archive shift of the crystal orthotic see in a past age. Magic strains the beast who stalks his halls. Uh, oh. Oh, this is it! Okay, this is it. Alright, well, let's do this then. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, Tiz, I'll give you back your stuff. But for now, we need to find treasure. Because I'm pretty sure this is it. I mean, it has a different name, but, uh, this should be it. There we go. And they said there was a... Someone said there was a bonus boss hidden down here. Oh. Map is completely dark. There are three chests on here, though. I don't need that anymore. This is interesting. I wonder what traps are in here. If any. I mean, I'm obviously not going to fight the monsters in here on screen. But I still want to find the treasures. Haha. -ha. What you got here? Mega Elixir. Alright, cool. Wow, that got set off a long way away. Just poison, that's it? Alright, I'll take it off once just to see what the thing, what the conversation is, because there's always a conversation about this, so... Let me just... There. No conversation? Alright, never mind. I guess there isn't a conversation about it, and I just wasted my time. Fantastic. And everyone's blind. Fantastic! Well, there's no point in that, then. Hold on. I'm really tempted to just skip this, but at the same time, uh, this is a new dungeon, and I gotta find out exactly what's going on with this. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Looks interesting. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've, 
I fought this dungeon before. Or I've been in this dungeon before. This is the final level to the Thieves hide Hideout. If, that, if this is just copying the, all the other hideouts, then I'm really not going to bother. Yadagarasu! Ooh! Hold on. Is it a blade? Or is it a knife? Yadagarasu. It's a knife, I think. Divine knife power raises evasion. Okay, it must be powerful. Just raises evasion. No other special effects. Kind of reminds me of that, uh... The like Yadagarasu lock, the strategy from Yu Gi Oh! Anything here? Nope. No hidden chambers. I'm just looking for hidden secrets at this point. Ah, here we go. Not hidden, but still. Lion Longinus. Or Longinus. Okay. I damn it. Did I already have one? Oh, I already had one. Holy Spear of, against Aquatic Foes. Okay, I already had one. That wasn't new at all. Yeah, 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 all the traps, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, I feel this is going to take a lot longer than just one episode, so I'm going to actually end the episode here, and we'll keep going next time. So, hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is getting really interesting. And we'll continue with the bonus dungeon next episode. Bye.